they charge down into turn number one and two. Hilker on the bottom. Henderson on the top side. They'll go wheel to wheel down oh, the there you see some brake checking in turn number three and around goes a car on the inside. Rob Bussey pounds into Justin Henderson's 18. Northrop spins and Kate Bristol has nowhere to go. Meanwhile, Matt Carreri has to thread the needle through the wreckage. Nick Carreri, feature winner here this year, has moved up into the number six spot on the outside of Lauren Lincoln. Now Danny Wiesner trying to thread his way through the middle coming through turn four. All right, that five car cluster looks like Route 81 in a Pennsylvania day in the construction as they head off off of corner number two. The mad scramble led by Tom Keyes back there in fifth. Weary running in sixth, Lauren Lincoln seventh. Henderson works the bottom. Gray works the top side. That opens the bottom for Comfort who pulls in line into turn number one. The gap was 1.2 seconds. Now you can measure it in car lengths instead. And here comes the Iceman with some big time momentum up on the outside. As we complete lap number 17, this time by Gray has the lead by half a car length and finishes off the move on the outside and turns one and two. So, and we have the six different sportsman winner of the year. The Iceman, Steve Gray, wins tonight's Napa Auto Parts Sportsman feature. Todd Anderson battling through the traffic to the very end, holds off Carl Comfort for second. Nick Guerrero and Danny Wiesner round out your top five finisher. We got, I don't know, eight, 10 laps into it. I decided to try the outside here, one and two, and the car stuck really good. So I'm thinking, well, let's try it down in three and four. Stuck even better. So I'm thinking, I actually think we got a shot at this. So uh, we stayed on the top, and he stayed right in the black, and we ran him down. So I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, the hour of big block power is upon us. Before they go fast and start the power slide, we salute you with the big blocks four wide. The ground pounding, earth shaking, window rattling, 800 horses without all the mess. The big block modified super dirt car series. Flag waves and we are underway with the Jim Corcoran Memorial for the Super Dirt Car Series here at the Land of Legends. Coming off turn number four to complete lap number 22. Superman Matt Shepard now owns a lead of about 1.3 seconds over Billy Decker. Matt Shepard motors down the back stretch. Decker in tow. Third spot is Justin Harris. T-Bone holding on to the show position. Bellinger fourth, Kern fifth. He started from the inside lane when Decker went up the racetrack. Here's and Bellinger almost got him for the runner-up spot. Oh, Plank and Dunn get together. Dunn goes around. This is going to set everybody scrambling. One car into Dunn. That is the Dr. Danny Johnson. Everybody else able to get around as we will have caution here on lap number 27. We will be officially halfway home at this time by 32 or down of the 64 lap. Jan Corcoran Memorial off of corner number four. Matt Shepard, your race leader since the drop of the green. So Shepard continues to lead now. The gap between he and Billy Decker is at one and a half seconds. Here's third, Hearn fourth, Bellinger fifth. But he's got to get around the number 91 through corner number three and four. This is where Harris has been able to make his move. And he pulls alongside Decker going into turn one and shuts him down by drifting up the racetrack through turn number two. Decker will try a comeback move here on the inside, but doesn't have enough fight to get back down to the bottom as they roll into turn number three. So Justin Harris, five races, five top five finishes this year at the Land of Legends. A couple of those second places to one Matt Shepard. Looks like a case of history repeated. Meanwhile, Hearn has used the outside lane and that top lane momentum to move by Billy Decker. So Hearn up into a podium spot now with the third place in hand for the Wentworth Construction number 20 car as we continue to watch the leaders slice and dice like a Vegematic with a cucumber. Trouble in turns one and two for the Hurricane Steve Payne. He is pulled to the outside edge of the racetrack comes Hearn and T-Mac looking to go three wide with Justin Harris for second. Meanwhile, Shepard, he's got a push in that race car. It doesn't want to turn as Billy Decker tiptoes on the bottom. New race leader at the stripe by a 
one knows it's Billy Decker on lap 46. But this one is far from over on turn number two. Can Decker lock it down? Shepard has stayed to his outside for the past couple of laps and now Decker locks in the race lead going into turn three. Shepard reaches up for the outside lane. Can he pull a power move off turn number four? The answer to that question is no. And Hearn once again going after Shepard on the bottom side of the speedway. Let's see how it works, and Brett Hearn is now your second place car as they exit corner number two. And what a wicked battle now for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Justin Hare slides up the racetrack, and as uh, that happens, Stuart Friesen goes around him and almost gets Matt Shepard on the outside lane as well as they'll go side by side through turns three and four. 61 in this time by, 61 are in for the number 91 of Billy Decker, bringing it off a of corner number two as they work their way down the back straightaway. The LJL Racing Gypsum Express Stadium International number 91, Billy Decker will win the Jan Corcoran Memorial here at Canandaigua Motorsports Park. Second spot goes to the Jet Brett Hearn, T-Mac in for third, Stuart Friesen fourth, and Superman Matt Shepard after leading the majority of this race winds up fifth, Justin Hare sixth, Jimmy Phelps crossing seventh, Dale Plank eighth, Mike Mahaney ninth, and Robbie Bellinger rounds out the top 10. Welcome back. I know this is a place you visited a time or two. Yeah, sure is, and uh, can't visit it too much, I tell you. Uh, the uh, Canandaigua Speedway is just, uh, it's a pretty special place because it seems like people have success here, uh, have success all over. You know, I can't thank this Gypsum Wholesaler team enough. Uh, Scott and the guys worked really hard, and uh, we had a, a mediocre car most of the race and uh, ended up slid back to fourth there and then just had a really good restart. It seems like the track kind of changed a little bit, and it really fit our car there and really got to roll it. I just tickled to get away with one. So here they come to starter Dave Farney's green flag in the air and the Parts Plus Stock Car feature event underway here tonight at the Land of Legends. Russ Morrison will lead the field going into turns one and two. Brunel Welch, meanwhile, in a battle for the fourth spot with the Jack Terrell number 98 as they run down the backstretch. Looks like Jack, for the moment, holding on to the fourth spot. He pulls down to the inside and tries to throw the block on Welch, but now his car goes up the racetrack through turns three and four. Meanwhile, Peckham catches race leader Marston, and they're gonna battle for the race lead now with three complete as they work through turns one and two. We'll complete 17 this time. We'll have three to go. Welch forges ahead of the Peckham number 90 coming down the front stretch. So Welch up into the runner-up spot for the moment. Peckham trying to come back, move on the outside through turns one and two, but Welch able to drive away off the second corner. They'll work their way into turns three and four for the final time. Marshley goes up the racetrack. Here comes Welch trying to put a wheel underneath as they battle off turn number four by one car like the wind goes to Marston over Welch. Peckham finishes third, fourth spot goes to Burnell, and Jack Terrell rounds out the top five with the number 98 car. Uh, congratulations, is this, a, uh, is this a career first for you here? Yeah, best was uh, second. A couple years ago, I got a fourth, a third. I mean, we've been right knocking on the door. And this car uh, looked like it was smooth sailing all the way through for you, nice and consistent. Yeah, I didn't really see anybody. I see, uh, I don't know if it was Mike Welch or whoever, but it's tough to, you can't pass on the bottom here. It's just the tracks is so fast on the outside.